here's what we're doing in this, uh, this UX test. Um, you just press the start button to begin, and then you have a highlighted ball here. And so you can just reach out, grab the highlighted ball, and it just is staying stuck to your hand just like you'd expect it. Uh, you almost kind of synthesize a sense of touch um, because everything is working out so well. And then you can just let it go inside of that target. Um, and so uh, this just goes on for many rounds. Um, but when we do this with actual users, as we were perfecting this interaction engine, um, we found that users are roughly 96% uh, successful uh, at actually grabbing the ball and placing it in their intended target. Using the interaction. Yeah, using using this new interaction. And how many users have we tested? Uh, total probably 450. Um, so uh, it's it's yeah very robust, and these users are just like off the street, most of them have never used VR before. Mm -hmm. And usually it takes about like three grabs to get the sense of like, how do I actually grab an object that doesn't exist? Um, but after that, everybody is just uh, all on top of it and um, can just do it very naturally. Um, so it's a, you know, simple visually, but uh, really powerful when you actually get to use it. Uh -huh. And like we were describing, this is the type of thing that, you know, you need in VR. Uh, to be able to just manipulate objects like this. And it's something where it's really fine and uh, controlled by your actual hands, where it's not like some controller type of thing where it's like, put my hand in there and then press the trigger and I have it or something like that. It's like, you're actually grabbing it and mm -hmm. you can use any grabbing style that you want. Um, it's gonna be able to so, register that. Uh, what we're doing here is every time you pinch your index finger and your thumb together, it makes a little human gesture. And then if you bring in two hands, you can pinch your fingers together. You can make a cube. And then you can grab the cube, you can flip it around, um, you can build with them. And this is the kind of thing where, you know, I'm using my hands to create blocks out of thin air, which I've never done before. But in the other way of like stacking these together, it feels like I'm just playing with blocks. Um, and so no longer is it something where it's like a binary, like press the B button to actually create a block. or uh, you know, move the block, you know, four clicks to the right or something like that. Instead, it's just actually using your hand as you'd actually like it to be used. Um, so this one might have a little bit higher of a learning curve just because we're still perfecting it. Um, but it is a good example of what we're working towards. And once again, this really is using the interaction engine very heavily for how should these blocks actually respond? Because you think about it like a normal physics engine, when you grab it there, it's going to just like squirt out of your